All right, everybody, I want to do a quick tutorial on how to add uh, your artwork to your Mad Cats TE2 stick. So I have a couple files open. Uh, I'll try to go through this uh, pretty clear and, and um, at a good pace. So I won't try to rush it. But it's two files that are open, and I'm using Adobe Photoshop. I'm actually using Adobe Photoshop CC, uh, but it should be very similar across all the Adobe Photoshop uh, series. So I have two files. This one is a downloadable file, and I'll actually include a link in this video of where you guys can get this uh, if you don't already have it. And then I have uh, a picture of art, and this is uh, pretty much, uh, I think, a 1080p um, resolution artwork. I mean, it'll fit definitely on your desktop at pretty clear resolution. So there's two files. So the first thing you want to look at is there's a couple things you can you can turn off you can turn uh, the artwork off which is here and then you can just um, turn the buttons and stuff off like that so here's the current artwork and what I'd like to do is just uh, see if I can unlock that and it's it's unlocked at this point um, and the reason why is because you can actually uh, move stuff up um, and move it down so you want to get those layers unlocked um, so as far as grabbing this so if you want to put this artwork or any type of artwork that you want to put on um, what I typically do is I just drag it out um, and I have my selection tool uh, which is here so if you have this it's not gonna let you grab it if you have something like this selected it's not gonna let you grab it so make sure you grab that little arrow looks like a little plus sign or whatnot and it's your selection drag tool type deal um, and all I'm gonna do is just I'm gonna basically click here and drag and then let go after that happens I can actually minimize this because I no longer need it so what I'm gonna do now is unclick that I no longer want that artwork this is the artwork that I want so I'm going to drag this to the corner and kind of fill in all the gaps here. And what you want to do now to actually drag this across and keep the resolution, you want to go to Edit, Free Transform. Now, you see these few um, selection uh, icons or dots or whatever you want to call them. And you can just grab one on one. And I like to grab this, this corner to the lower right and actually just you know kind of drag it between the lines and once I have that that's my art um, I mean if I want to shift this over here so let's just say I want that H to be there and I want to drag this a little more over here you know I can do that it's an option because um, right now the button is covering his face um, you know say I want this um, this high school to be a little at this corner um, I can put that there I can drag that up so it gives me free transform on how I want it um, now this is just one image now after I've done that I'm actually gonna hit press enter on the keyboard and that's that's your art right there so um, you no longer need this um, and if you did you know you can it's not going to show up because you have this one here but you can take that one off and put this so on and so forth so you can mess around with the layers alright so after this part once you've got your art the way you want it and I recommend if you guys are going to do something to your art do it while it's in another file and save that um, as an original so if I wanted to change this to black and white I could have opened this regular change it to black and white did my edits save that as that file and then put it in there um, so do whatever you want to do to your image but once you bring it in this is the process to add it to the template um, now what you want to do uh, and this is the important piece that a lot of people uh, didn't know, and it's you know, it's kind of hard to see it uh, on YouTube. Uh, but what you want to do is actually um, save this as it's, it's basically a PDF. Um, so it's going to say Photoshop PDF PDF PDP, and you want to save it as a copy. So you can unclick layers, save as copy. So that's what you want to do, and I'm just going to name this. Um, HS just HS um, sample I'm going to save it to my desktop okay so now when I click save 
a box is going to pop up. Your settings you choose to save in Adobe uh, PDF dialog can override the current settings to save as dialog. Yada, yada, yada. So, what you're looking at here it says high quality print modified. Keep all that the same. Don't mess with any of that. It should basically say high quality modified um, compatibility from Adobe 5 PDF 1.4. Don't mess with any of that. Just click Save PDF. Now, what that allows you to do is take that to your local Kankos or any type of print shop and ask them to print to file. So you don't want to do any cropping and you don't want to adjust it to fit um, on a certain size piece of paper. Now, and I print these on, um, I want to say they were 11 by 17. And if you go 8 and a 10, they're obviously going to be too short, um, but do 11 to 17 uh, for this artwork, and it'll allow you to cut the borders. So you can cut within here. For the Mad Cat's TE2 stick, you actually got to cut pretty much half of this, because uh, the way it fits in it, it will bend the paper on this edge. So actually, if you get really close, it's not going to matter. It's just the way that border uh, surrounds it. So if you do these steps, you'll be able to create your own artwork and you won't have any issues it'll be very simple so this is something i didn't see on youtube and hopefully it's able to help you guys out on the process so if you guys have any questions um you know please post comments please subscribe i'm trying to do a little more tutorials uh that are quick to the point thank you and take care